Well, first tonight, it was a busy morning for fire crews across Massachusetts due to this four alarm fire. Flames erupted in a mixed use structure around four o'clock this morning in Taunton. 12 news cameras on scene captured fire crews spraying down the Spring Lane building 12 hours after it started. 12 news reporter Matt Paddock joins us now live from the scene in Taunton. Matt, what can you tell us? Well, Brittany, fire crews are still here on scene, but their work for now is done. Now I want to step out of frame so you can see what that scene looks like here in Taunton. And officials telling me they plan on keeping a crew here throughout the night just in case of any hot spots. The rolled rubber roof, uh, old timber, building's over 100 years old. Flames could be seen tearing through this multi use commercial building as plumes of smoke filled the Taunton sky Saturday. Right now, as you can see behind, there's a lot of hot spots going right now. Uh, we had approximately four ladder trucks fighting the fire with about seven engines. When crews first got here at four o'clock in the morning, I believe it was Deputy Chief Mike uh, Sylvia had said, it seemed like 40 people had dispersed yeah. out of this building. Yeah, this has been an ongoing problem in Taunton. It, it's, a, it's a rooming house, illegal rooming house. Approximately 30 people live here. Back in January, over 50 people were living here. Jacqueline Delgado was one of those people living at the former music studio. Uh, music studios, um, I've been there since uh, last year. It's been about a year now. And she says, had it not been for her girlfriend when fire alarms started ringing, we could be telling a different story. We weren't going to even check, and thank God she was there, and she's like, I'm just going to check the hallway, and when we opened the door, there was smoke engulfed on the second floor hallway already. Taunton Fire Chief Tim Bradshaw says the city filed an injunction on May 11th against the building, and he says the building owner was ordered a cease and desist, stating it is a commercial building and people shouldn't be living inside. Fire spread so fast, it would have been upstairs in maybe another two, three minutes. Crews on scene quickly getting to work, knocking out parts of the former building's walls. Taunton Fire Lieutenant Gregory Galligan says the building is coming down, but first. State police are coming back at 7 o'clock in the morning. They're going to bring a cadaver dog and, you know, basically the fire department and state police are going to go through the building to make sure every room is empty. Right now we don't have any evidence of somebody being in the building, but we don't want to not search the building for if someone was left behind. Now, fire officials say the cause of that fire is still under investigation. But reporting in Taunton, Matt Paddock, 12 News.